This is the port of Beirut, one month after a blast that was so powerful it was visible from space. The August explosion of ammonium nitrate stored in a port warehouse killed almost 200 people, injured thousands of others, and destroyed homes and buildings in a vast area of the Lebanese capital. The latest fire is in a tire warehouse, according to state media. The cause remains unknown. Meanwhile, in Sudan, authorities and the United Nations are providing aid to tens of thousands who lost their homes in recent record Nile flooding. Local resident Idris Ahmed wants international help. What is the role of government? Nothing. They're not doing anything. I'm asking for rights as a citizen, looking for refuge. I go right, I go left. Is this something anyone can accept? Across the continent, in Senegal, the town of Kiramassar remains underwater after clouds dumped three months' worth of rain in just seven hours over this area outside the capital city, Dakar. The flooding is creating even worse hardship for residents. We are flooded. We're all going through the same problem. It's serious. Some people left. Some people are unable to reach their homes. Firefighters are helping evacuate with boats. It's really difficult. Finally this week, residents in California report awakening to orange skies raining ash as wildfires exploded out of control. In one day alone, climate scientists say one fire expanded more than 1,000 square meters. More than 14,000 firefighters are battling the California blazes. Two of the largest in the state's history are burning in the San Francisco Bay Area, though after three weeks, those are mainly under control. However, wildfire season has just begun. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News, Washington.